G'day guys, m 10 Tam here. Today in this tutorial of Octane version 3, we're going to go through the render region button along with the, the render region film settings options. So what render region is, a tool that makes you pick certain areas within your render that you personally want to be rendered out. Let's just say that you're rendering at 1080, but there's a small section here, really detailed section that you want to be rendered out. So let's just say I want to get this nice big area with my 3D scanned body and these alphabets. All we have to do is click on the image, um, the toggle button for it click and drag and that will specifically render that section now it's not pixel per perfect it will um, sort of go out between the area picked that shouldn't be a problem though and as you can see it shows a lot more converged sampling Russian roulette between this and that this is extremely helpful for speculum materials, high intensity, uh, loud, uh, light bouncing, color bleeding, and it gives a good previewing, especially when you're in a fast paced feature film environment. Uh, there's also another way to do this. In the film settings options, you have your resolution, region start, and region size. And in order to turn the button, the region render selection, just double click onto the main image. So let's just say I want to render out this full side here, but at 1080 with all the horsepower going directly into that section only. In the render region size, you can in real time close that on and make that smaller the height and width. And at 1080 resolution, you'll be only re-rendering this corner in this section. Now, let's just say you've got a shape in mind, but you want to move it around. Well, you have to go to the region start and move that shape where you want to. It's a bit sensitive, so be careful. So this is really helpful for getting the right look for your render settings um, in real time, uh, even more real time than real real time because you're singling out different areas, seeing how they look like at the specific resolution without going through the um, areas that shouldn't be rendered like, you know, this, this knob, doorknob or this chair or you know, any of these shadow bounces, it's specifically in this area. It's really helpful. And in order to go back to the normal size, just bump this up to the full standard and put that to zero out, and here's your full render. So much, so helpful. And here it is in the full Okay, so now that we're in PMC, let's go to an area, uh, let's go to the same area here. Let's specifically highlight this section. And right off the bat, you can see that it's only rendering this scene here. Very quick. Much more quick than rendering the whole entire, um, the whole entire shot. And even within this section, I can be like, all right, so now that I've seen that, let's just see how the light bounces on the face only. I'm also running a GTX 980 Ti. Let's go even more smaller. Let's see how my head looks. It's converging. So hopefully you find this useful. It's definitely helped me a lot with my previewing and renders. And the next one will be going through the ABC files within Octane Render.
version 3. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.